Hey guys! Multiclass Gamer here. We're going to be. Well, we're going to be playing as Lanky in this episode to start with. Uh, but before we change it to Ungod, we're going to change the war level actually. Because now, we're actually ready to raise the war level. There's nothing else that we have to do with the war, war level lower, so. Might as well raise the stakes, shall we? I mean, the war level. Um, but first things first, we need to actually get to the lighthouse, which is where the water level uh, switch is, as you saw in the last episode, briefly. Um, but yeah, for the most part, the rest of the stuff, we need the water level to be higher, or we just don't hear that, or it's not affected by the water level. So, let's make our way to warp pad 2, I guess it's best that we got. It's number 2. Haha. <laughs> Woohoo! So yeah, I'm probably not gonna be... This episode might be a little shorter than usual because of the fact that, uh... Yeah, my throat's been... It's still a bit scratchy and dry from the... Yeah, you know, from the previous episode. So... If that... If this episode is less than 20 minutes long, that's why. Plus also, it's like 20 minutes till 4 a.m. Yeah, I might still go to bed soon. So... Because, like, I don't want to stay up, like, too late. Like, I don't want to make, like, make it too regular for me to be up until 5 or 5.30 in the morning. You know, because they could at, some, at any point, like, change my my work schedule back to, you know, first shift. And that would be, like, really rough on me to go from, you know, be used to being awake until 5 a.m. Only to, uh... Only to have to go to work at like 6.30 a.m. Like that would suck a lot. That would be a, basically an all-nighter for me. What am I doing here? Okay, so that's the number one war- Oh, okay, so we just do this. Since number one and number two are right next to each other, you just do both at once! <laughs> uh, how many times can I possibly make that joke? Seriously, number one number two. Maybe I'll make that when I start playing Sega Master System games, because like literally Two of the but the instead of A and B, like you know, because like a Sega Master System controller, it looks basically identical to an NES controller, except instead of A and B, it's it's one and two. It's like heh, I just hit number two. Anyways, as on guard, we have a few things we can do here, including jump through the hoops, because you gotta jump through hoops to get some of these golden bananas. Like I swear, uh, but actually, it's more like a DK star. Because Unguard is is a star. Seriously, he made it through all three Donkey Kong Country games, all three of them, like on the Super Nintendo, and also, yeah, he's in this game too, just like Rambi. He and yeah, both Rambi and Unguard are the DK Con Donkey Kong Country stars when it comes to animal f animal buddies. Wait, animal buddies, but D the DK family themselves are animals. That's just kind of weird. Calling them animal buddies. Did I seriously say anal buddies? Cause like, I meant to say animal buddies, but if you say too fast, it's what it sounds like. <laughs> oh my god, even when I'm not trying to make those kind of jokes, I make them anyways, cause I'm just that stupid. Okay. No, I don't mean to like, you know, down, downplay anyone else that makes those jokes. I don't think there's anything else that Ungar can do actually, unfortunately. Very unfortunate because like there's, well actually yeah, there is, duh. Right down here, dude. Go get your treasure. Yeah, because he's got to destroy these uh, treasure... Treasure... Uh, treasure chests down that are underwater. Now this game's starting to remind me of Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. So, okay, so I haven't announced this officially yet, but I'm sure I will before this up episode uh, uploads or something. Uploads or something, seriously. Um, I've actually decided to cancel the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. I have so many of these unfinished projects that I'm, I keep saying I'll go back to eventually, but I'd rather just not have them to deal with and rather just like redo the games entirely. You know, like obviously I've already got some very early examples like Big Mario 2, Super Smash Bros. Brawl, like one of my very first Let's Plays, but also some of these newer projects, like for instance, uh, Kirby's Dream Land 2, that's an unfinished project from 2017 as well as uh, Wind Waker. So what I've decided to do, at least for Wind Waker, is I'm going to cancel it. Yep. I'm just going to cancel it. Let's play entirely. And I'm going to reboot it as Let's Play 
of The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD on Wii U. The reason why I'm talking about this is because I've actually been playing it recently, and I freaking love that game so much. I love the HD remaster. And it's funny, I'm playing the HD remaster of Wind Waker at the same time while playing the HD remaster of Battle for Bikini Bottom. You know, and I'm playing it for this HD remaster for the first time. Well, actually, I played it briefly, like, early in 2018. But, uh, I didn't really get that far. Because... I think what I was trying to do at the time was I was trying to get myself back up to where I was in the Let's Play. You know, to finish Let's Play up. But the thing is, it would take so long for me to play back up to where I was in Let's Play. Because I'd have to pay, like, study the entire Let's Play, like, up to that point and see what treasure charts I have, what pieces of heart I have, and stuff like that. Because those are two main collect collectibles in the game. And, uh, mostly just ditty stuff over here. So we don't need to be over here as Lanky, but we need to collect that banana bunch that I was literally right next to before I transformed on guard. So for some reason, on guard cannot pick up Lanky stuff, for whatever reason. But yeah, like I was saying, that's basically the plan for Wind Waker, at least as far as that unfinished Let's Play goes. The two unfinished uh, side Let's Plays, that is the Super Mario Kart and Sonic the Hedgehog, the two from the 16-bit summer, way back in 2012. I'm, let's face it, I'm never going to finish those projects, so those are also cancelled. We'll just go back and redo them at some point. There it is, there's that chunky balloon right there. See, now it's appearing. Like, do you need to be on the plank, or, like, on the number pad to see it? No, it's right there. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's very weird. Like, you have to be in a very specific spot for it to appear. Do you have to get, like, closer to it or something and make it, like, fully appear? Well, no, it's because you can't... Because uh, I'm lanky, I'm not chunky. That's why I can't get it, duh. What, are you stupid or something? Are you stupid or something? What is that even from? Do any of you guys watch SMG4? Like, he's a big YouTuber, so I'm sure some some people in my audience watch him, but... Uh, I just love how, like, the, the vast majority of the dialogue in his, uh, you know, in his videos are from other sources. You know, they're basically like YTPs, basically. Like, you just said... Uh, like, some, sometimes in YTPs, what they do is they, instead of, uh... Uh... Was it, a uh, like, sound mixing or whatever? Or voice mixing or whatever you call it? Instead of doing that, sometimes they'll just throw in a voice clip from some completely unrelated show or something. I don't know. It's basically what they do sometimes in YTPs. And, well, that's what they do a lot in F M SMG4 videos as well. I watch those, too, because they're really funny. It's like watching a cartoon, sort of. A very goofy cartoon parody of Mario. With, a uh, SFM and uh, Gmod, you know, stuff like that. Ugh. What am I even doing? Like, I've been swimming around with Lanky doing absolutely nothing, like, just talking. Like, what is this going on? Here, let's switch to Diddy. I know what to do. Diddy, do something. That way I have something to do while I'm talking at the same time, instead of just swimming around doing nothing. Diddy's got stuff to collect down here, but he's also got something to do in that tunnel we just opened up with as a on guard. On guard! Uh. Wait, what was I talking about? I don't even remember what I was talking about, dude. Like, that's just how bad it is. Seriously, he's got an uneven number of bananas. Are you kidding me? Uh, that's kind of concerning. That's very concerning. Unless the rest are on top of the lighthouse. I think that's what it is. Because he's got like a... I think he's got like bananas around the top of the lighthouse beacon. So that might be where, where it is missing. Well, actually, there's also bananas at the top... At the bottom of this tunnel here, too. Sorry, the shaft. Yeah, that's what this is. <laughs> yeah, there I go again, coughing. Coughing! But, uh... That's what I'm worried about, too. Like, I'm gonna be coughing at work tomorrow. Or people are gonna think I have the the thing that I would not, prefer not to mention in this video because, uh, you know. Monetization, you know. You know, because the whole monetization thing is no longer about money. It's also the fact that, you know, YouTube will basically obscure your video like crazy if it's not monetized. And also, guess what? They put DK's 
Ka splat on this stack of coins that you can only access as Diddy. So you can probably guess what that means, unfortunately. Okay. Whee! That's right. Ready to have some more fun, Diddy? Welcome to bonus. We will here in Stealthy Snoop. Snooping as usual, I see. Yeah, I had to. I was talking about SMG4 in the same episode. That was pretty solid, if I do say so myself. Not to reference uh, Metal Gear too much here. But uh, yeah, it was pretty cool the way I dodged that guard there. Come on, it's just like the Forsaken Fortress in. Or, uh, in, yeah, in Zelda Wind Waker. Except it really, really isn't because, uh, well, you can actually move around. Oh. I guess the farting hasn't quite gone away now, has it? Alright, let's go this way this time. 64, 63, 62. Dude, what are you doing? You walked right into that again! Two times in a row! Shh. Dude, it's almost 4 a.m. Be quiet. I was supposed to be quiet so these guards don't hear you. Just be quiet, dude. Be quiet. Got 60 seconds left. You got one minute to make it to the goal. Don't make the same mistake again. Let's wait. Alright, there we go. Okay, let's go this way. Sneak around the sky. Oh, shit. I, I just cursed. God. Goal achieved. All right. Jeez, I'm probably gonna have to lower the game audio for that entire section of the video. <laughs> I'm sure it's worth it. Hey, 94 going bananas. That's that's when uh, Donkey Kong Country One came out. <gasps> number four. So number four is gonna have to be how DK gets up here to get his uh his uh banana blueprint. Banana blueprint. I don't even know, man. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and get this, uh... Kasplat while I'm still thinking about it. While it's still my mind. Mind your Kasplats, after all. It's not mind your Ellers, it's mind your Kasplats. Hey, wait a second. Doesn't DK got stuff down here? He's got, like, a coins and a... A few banana bunches, I think. I'm pretty sure he does. Yes, he does. My memory has served me properly. Hey, of course, 64 coins, of course. I remember saying that. I specifically remember saying that when I was doing the original Let's Play. But it was during a certain minigame that's uh, coming in a new war in a, the next world. Hey, there's the bananas I was thinking of. So I'm not totally crazy. I'm definitely not crazy here. I'm definitely not crazy here, guys. Definitely not crazy. Um, it's not from this quarantine stuff or anything. Get the fucking bananas! Get the bananas, man! Thank you. 
stop swimming around like you're drunk or something. Like, jeez. I'm not drunk. I mean, like, I, I was... I, I had, like, a couple C grams the other day. For all you fellow adults in the comments, uh, what kind of drinks do you like? Um, I'm kind of a malt beverage guy myself, so... That's pretty much all I end up drinking. It's just malt beverages. Like, I was... I like to smear it off ice. That was definitely my my get my thing for the past couple of years, but uh, lately I've been drinking less of that stuff because, like, the thing is, I'm not really a big fan of like trying to get like really drunk lately because, like, whenever I do, all I end up doing is just passing out, and then it just wastes like you know several hours of my days off basically. So I try to only drink just enough to feel good. That's about it. So I'm sure that's what most people do. That's what you do until you build up a tolerance and you start drinking more and more and more and more. So I get, don't need to talk about that, dude, okay? I'm sure there's people like in the audience that are probably trying to keep their mind off this stuff, so I don't need to remind them. Okay, don't do this again, dude. Don't swim around for... I must have been swim, swimming around as lanky for like two minutes back there, like doing nothing. I mean, like, yeah, I was talking about stuff, but you need to be doing stuff in the game too, dude. Anyway, let's get this... Uh, Kasplat! Alright, Kasplat. You're about to be nothing but splat. No, not me. Here, have a coconut or two. <laughs> that guy got hit in the head with a coconut! <laughs> so this must be what Patrick was watching that one episode. He's watching the, my Let's Play. You know, me hitting the Kasplat with a coconut in the head. It all makes sense now. See you guys later. Thanks so much. Thank you so much for watching. Good day.